Hello, welcome to session 5 of DGD uh, puzzle game. Uh, <coughs> basically what we're going to do today is we're going to get some sounds in here, so music, um, when we actually get a box in place, so it's a success. Um, and then once we've done that we're also going to do a few sort of replay buttons so that if the level, if you get stuck on a level you can replay it and also sort of go between screens to say well done and all that sort of stuff. Right, so first thing we're going to do is uh, sound. So we use the sound section on here, create sound. Um, we're going to use naming conventions again, so SND for sound. Uh, and this one is just going to be music. Okay, We're all just going to have one set of music for this particular game. You could obviously have more. Right, okay, so once we've done that, we're going to add this sound here. And we're going to use this sound called Brave World. Uh, I got this sound from dlsounds.com. Uh, it's got lots of good sounds on there for sort of background tracks and things like that. Okay, so we're going to open that. And now that is our sound ready. You can actually play it in here as well. Okay, uh, so we know that's all working. So we just got to decide when we're going to play this. Um, if we look at our objects, the object score is pretty much the first thing that's going to be on the screen. It's always going to be there. We're never going to have it on a level without the score, uh, unless it's a go-between level. So we're going to put it in there. So if I double-click that, uh, we don't want it on the create. Oh, in fact, we could put it on the create. Um, so in here, we will simply add a sound. Okay, so play audio. You can search for it in there as well. And then we're simply going to choose our music. We're going to loop this just in case it takes us quite a while to complete a level. So if we play the game now, we should now have some background music. Okay, so that's all fine. Um, if you want to sort of adjust the volume of that, because you know, that sounded quite loud, you can actually change that in the sound itself. So, um, let just go to the sound here. You can see there you've got the volume. So we could just take that down a touch, so it's not as loud. So, okay, that's that bit done. So we're going to add another sound now. Same process, create sound, SMD, and this will be a success. So, when we basically get a box in the right place, it's going to play this little sound effect. Okay, so there we are, success. Uh, this sound is from freesound.org, which is also a good website for little sounds that you could use in your games. Uh, so and that's that particular sound. Right, we just got to decide when we're going to use this one. So, if you can remember, our ob object palette is where a lot of things sort of happen. So, when a box is in the right place, basically when you put a box in a palette, it's going to do all these little things. It's going to swap swap out the box, add that this new sort of one here, so you know that it's a success. So this is a good place to play that sound. So we'll simply just put it at the bottom here. Uh, and it's just going to play the sound. Uh, even though it's at the bottom, you might think, well, maybe I should put it at the top. But this is going to be happening so fast, it won't make any difference. So we're just going to stick it at the bottom. OK, so play audio. And this time, it's going to be our success sound. Now we don't want this one to loop because obviously we only want it to play once. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So if we just go and test that game now. Uh, 
Okay, great. So we've now got the audio in the game. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have a sort of level, to, well not a level, a screen that's going to say well done, you've done the level. So um, let's go to our rooms. So at the moment we've got two rooms. We're just going to uh, create a new room. And we'll put this one in here. And we'll also rename that. We might just call that level one complete. Okay. Uh, we're going to have to change the size of this because it's going to default to the wrong size. So that's now 640 by 640. Okay. Now, what we're going to do, I'm just going to import some images uh, to put into here. You can just use the text, display text, um, but you'd probably use images. Um, okay, so we're just going to import some sprites. So, SPR. Next level. Okay. And import. Okay, so there we have next puzzle. And that's all we're going to do for that one. And then we're going to do the same again. Creep, sprite. This one will just be just a message to say well done. Okay, so that's those two done. Uh, we can also change this to center just for these ones, just so we're all consistent with the rest. Okay, so that's those two done. So now we're going to basically create some objects for these as well. Okay, so create object this one's going to be our next puzzle so what we want to do with this one is when we sort of click on it we want it to go to the next level okay or we, we could even press a key as well so what we'll do we'll just add an event and we'll go for a key press and we'll go for um, any key. Okay, so when any key is pressed, we're going to go to our next level. So that will be uh, sorry, room, room. Okay, so go to next room. Okay, so if anyone presses any key, it's going to go to the next room. Uh, we might also go for our mouse as well. So if someone presses a left mouse button, we'll just do exactly the same thing. And we'll go to the next room. Okay, so that's done, completed. Um, and then we, we could also create an object. Now we're sort of puzzle solved. Okay. Now if we go to our room, then we just drag these on. So, is that not removed? Okay, so drag on our message first. So well done, you've solved the puzzle. And then we'll drag on our next puzzle.
Okay. Let's just test that out. So our music's playing. The sound effects are working. Okay. And then next puzzle. And there we go to the next level. Okay. Um, the only other thing I want to cover today is basically if you get stuck in a room. So some of these rooms, if you get a box, <coughs> there is against the wall. Basically, you can't continue because you can't solve the puzzle. So we want to sort of solve that so that um, when you press the replay key, it's going to replay the level. Okay. So this is very simple. We'll just go to the object player, um, and we can put this sort of. I'll put it on this begin step here. So that's where you need all your direction, things like that. Um, in fact, we're just going to add an event. Uh, it's going to be a key press. We'll go for a letter, and we'll go for R for replay. Okay, and we simply now, when the replay is pressed, we want to go to room and simply restart the room. Okay, so that was basically that one. So let's just give that a go. Now if you notice with that we've got the sound playing twice because it basically started the sound again. So what we need to do when we restart this room we also need to stop the sounds. So um, let's just get the sound on here. <coughs> it's probably a good idea to stop all audio. So basically anything that's playing, it's going to stop and then restart. Uh, and that should then just play the one song over again rather than two. Let's give that a go. There we go. That's all working. Okay, so that's the end of today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed that. Bye-bye.